picture this. You are in New York City with a hot babe that you love so dearly. You guys have moved there together to find and follow your dreams. And you got a pet dog too named Henry Fuckett. But like Kanye said, the major that you major in doesn't make any money. And you are down bad on your savings. Savings is coming down to a steady incline because you are not making a steady career. Your hot babe doesn't know that, of course, so she thinks that you guys are just having the time of your lives and living off the fat of the land, nigga. But realistically, you're, it's coming down. Henry is hungry, and she says, we should go get Henry some food. You're like, of course. You go to your closet, because that's the secret treasure, nigga. You bring out a raft track, and you bring out any pizza archive, and you look at which is your least favorite, but it's still expensive enough to maintain Henry that grub, nigga. So you grab your raft jacket and you're like oh let's stop by a uh, second street so i can say what's up to my homie you don't know any nigga there and she's like uh sure or whatever so you go over there second street and you bring that fucking raft jacket into the counter you go over to a nigga give him a douchey dab too hey what's up man what can i do for you don't be so loud shut up how much is this raft jacket worth i'll, I'll sell it to you and he's like oh give me one second how much are you looking for you're like well, two racks, this is like the, the before the raft. He does not give a flag shit. He's just going on grail, typing away, typing away, right in front of me too. He sees a raft jacket <laughs> or something that looks like a nigga <laughs> from the recent collection. Ah, uh, yeah, dude, we're looking for, uh, looking for, I'll give you about 200 bucks for it. Your heart sunk. Does that couldn't even give you dinner with your pain at the hottest restaurant in New York, in town. So your heart, you kind of grab him. He's like, don't touch me, dude. And you're like, you bitch ass nigga. I need to feed Henry and my bitch over there. He's here. He's like, yeah, she's bad. Who fucks Henry though? And that's when you realize you take the raft jacket, but then you stop and look at her and you think about Henry. Fuck. <laughs> take it. <laughs> that's when you realize New York and resale stores suck dick. What is going on, my lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing, gay, depressed, broken, shattered? Fuck, we need one more. Shit. Sweet niggas. Now, on this video, we are talking about the state of reselling stores. Because as you may know... Round two, this is just my knowledge a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago, I realized that round two that we loved and had all the beautiful videos on YouTube has came crashing down and the business is over. Shot with our spoon is gone, nigga. Like, we don't know where he is unless you guys follow him on Facebook or something. I don't know where he is. But as I can tell from the looks of it, that round two is over. That doesn't stop Luke NYC and other businesses from stopping and taking down, taking up their, what their fuck. What I meant to say was taking the big shoes to fill in of being the next new reselling douchebag. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I calling them douchebags? Because this is their system. If you guys haven't noticed their system, they do the system where it is so crazy. But you know, the system makes sense, but it doesn't make sense too, because sometimes they get away with the most insane shit that I had witnessed. Now, if you didn't realize, one that I'm really familiar with is uh, Second Street and Round 2. We're going to be giving those two examples for this video. Now, we're going to talk about Round 2 first because they actually blatantly do this on their, uh, what's it called, on their YouTube videos too. A brand new pair of Travis Scott's would release. They bring it to Second Street. Oh, yo, how much can I get to this? They're bullshit excuse. Uh, we already have too many pairs. We don't really feel like da 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 We'll give you like a $400 store credit. The shoes are valued at like what? Like $1,200 at the time? Uh, yeah, all right, fuck it. Tap the nigga up, boom. Give him store credit, the nigga gets a shitty Supreme BD. <laughs> Obey tank top. Thanks round two, gives a little shout out. This nigga looks stupid as hell. He walks out, they get a brand new pair, resell that shit. Easy flip. <laughs> the fat nigga Luca, easy flip, nigga. <laughs> Easy flip, nigga. <laughs> and that's one of many things. That's why I used to love watching that show because how many people just walk in there and just look so stupid. And I'm just like, yo, you walk in here with this brand new dead stock shoe that there is like other stores around that you can resell to, but you choose round two because you're kind of lazy. You just want to get it over with and you don't want to hold the box all day long. And you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get the store credit. Come back another day. 
and then you cop some bullshit that you leave because they always keep offering you store credit every time i went to the round two i have never asked for cash back when i like uh had like this quick shit that i didn't even want or i wasn't even gonna wear that came a part of a package that i got i just try to give it a round two store credit whoa see that jacket store credit nigga what <laughs> what store credit is such a good idea because you don't get that much store credit. If not, you sometimes get more store credit than the cash they offer you. So you have no choice but to take the store credit because you're like, I'm not gonna sell for that much. I could probably flip it up more for StockX, but I don't want to go through the StockX thing. And then you just give up and then eat the L. But Second Street, what Second Street does is even more interesting. They, I watched them niggas as my nigga came next to the counter, search up the piece, cause they don't know anything about the piece. They searched it up on Grail, <laughs> looked at the price, and I'm not hating on Second Street, cause I, I made some purchases on Second Street before. Search up the price, and they're just looking, they're just looking, and then they just, they give a shittier price than the price on Grail, which is true, cause they need to make their money back. And they're like, oh, we'll give you this. And it's the craziest price. And because most niggas live in New York, I go to Second Street, because they have no choice but to accept that they're down bad, <laughs> they just gotta eat the price and walk out. And that's why you see all of those runway pieces at the top of the place. It's so crazy to me, because I'm like, this system is actually crazy. And that's why I would never want to move to New York, because if I move to New York and I see all of these fucking garbage, mine are gonna be up there too. They're gonna have a whole fucking Joe Todd and Vito Palace runway nigga on the top shelf, nigga. Basically, what I'm trying to say, nigga, <laughs> is that at the end of the day, these resale stores are scamming the fuck out of you. You're better off selling it at Grail. I'd wait those two to three weeks or two to three months before your Balenciaga jacket ends up turning into a... <laughs> Who is this? Polo G into a Polo G wrap t-shirt, nigga, that's worth 40 mils, nigga, but they charge it up right because they charge the shit that you sold them. And this was the only thing that you're like, you know what? I like a couple Polo G songs, so I'm just gonna fucking cop them, bitch. Fuck it. <laughs> After you got blatantly fucked over. And then... Now you and your girl could go get ramen and you could get food for a ramen. What the what was it? What was the dog's name, nigga? <laughs> Henry, nigga. <laughs> Needless to say, nigga. <laughs> the fact that they got so many niggas with that shit is so mind-boggling. Like there'd be so many grilled resellers or so many niggas wearing all this crazy archive and bullshit that once they start living in New York and start facing the fucking harsh reality. They get fucked. They got no choice but to sell their shit, nigga. They need that food, they need that grub, and they need that rent, nigga. <laughs> that shit gets brutal, nigga. I've watched my own niggas walk out the store, <laughs> chain smoke two cigarettes. <laughs> I look at their clothes, they look at me, nigga. We're all three making eye contact at each other. Someone got to part ways, nigga. Bring that shit back in, nigga, and get you 30 bills, nigga. It is brutal. Like, what I see. <laughs> it is brutal, it is brutal. And I would see the niggas bring it in the back. Turn that 30 to $300, nigga. Next day, I probably won't even see the shirt because someone already copped it, nigga. And the whole entire chain starts all over again, nigga. Kyrie, kind of subscribe, niggas, for more content, of course. And see you on the next one. If I were to resell, because I'm not a reseller, I still got my beloved, beautiful Balenciaga jacket, nigga. And can someone tell me what the hell happened around two, nigga? This is news to me, and the nigga that told me that news didn't even have an answer for that. I was really confused. That shit, you know, is the system good? What do you guys think? I actually really want to hear your takes on this. This system that they're doing, that they're violating the niggas, because at this point, I don't even think the, the prices are fair. Yeah, they have to keep the store running by getting uh, income some way, but like they got to make it a little more even because sometimes round two would make it even, but Second Street is this highway robbery. I see the most craziest, depressed niggas sitting in the front counter because they, they ain't going to let you take your shit back, nigga. You can't buy that shit back, and if you want to buy that shit back, you're going to have to buy it for retail. How much is Rick Owen South Ah, <laughs> The other day, I don't know about you niggas. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this. I genuinely want to know how I know. I'm not doing any of that. I do not resell. Team no resell. I promote it on my Instagram for a reason. Peace out.